So here it is. We're looking around here. We're seeing this uh, this great Dillon area here. And uh, I'm not sure exactly who everybody is here. But I know our bishop here. He's excited, I'm sure. So, like I say, I've never, never actually been out here. It's pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where people that are older than me would know whoever the, who these people are, but I do not. Looks like they got some inscriptions on them even. But what I do know is that this stuff is important here for Sterling Rock Falls history because Sterling Rock Falls uh, really got its, uh, its start here from the Dillon home. Not really the Dillon home, but the Dillons. So they, uh, they're the whole, I guess, economic reason why Sterling Rock Falls was able to flourish and prosper because the, of the steel mill. And what happened there is that the, the steel mill, it uh, did so tremendously well. It was open for about 100 years and uh, did so tremendously well that this area was able to really flourish. And uh, it's a historic house listed on the National Registry at U.S. Department of Interior, Washington, D.C. So, yep. yep. Very important here, what the Dillons did. And uh, uh, for the city, for the community, you can see here what the outside of their house looks like here. You know, there's even a, a train here. The, the, I guess they were, like, probably one of the last people to still use uh, steam engines and you're able to see these engines here because uh, at the steel mill it had the world's largest electric steel furnace and uh, they also had these these steam engines you can even see what this place looks like in the back here how oh, it's this almost this giant castle yeah and uh it's one of those things where it's, it's just kind of amazing here to see. You know, I know that uh, I've, I've lived in this area for 42 years. And uh, I'm just kind of amazed to see how everything is here. This was one of the richest people in the world, I believe, that lived here. And as, as Eminence here is exploring this, we're exploring this. So it's kind of like the sort of unguided tour that we're known for. <laughs> yep. So this is this is what it is. Yep. So here we're seeing the actual steam engines. And uh, last stop for a red caboose. So this was uh, a little bit of information about it here. And uh, you're able to see what it's like. And here you're able to see the actual caboose here. And then this is the Northwestern Steel and Wire Company uh, steam engine. That's what it looks like here. They actually owned one of these. This historic train restoration project was founded by the Sterling Park District and Public Museum Capital Grants Program, uh, Illinois Department of Natural Resources. So that's what it looks like here. Pretty amazing. Yeah, the little engine that did, you're able to kind of pause the video here and read about it. 
So yeah, that's what it is. And uh, you can kind of see what it's like here. Believe it or not, I have seen one of these when I was a child in operation. They have to stop quite a bit, I believe, to be able to uh, to be able to um, get more water. So this is uh, this is what it looks like here. But yeah. There's like a little platform that you can walk up even, I think, and you can see it in full. Uh, but uh, these things, the amount of steel on this, it is, it is thick, thick, thick steel. See, and there's the leaf spring right there. Yep. So yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing stuff here. So, yep, there's the eminence taking a look at this thing. I'm going to walk up here. I see there's a place to walk up. I'm just going to kind of see what it looks like in here. So this right here, that's your engine room. And you can see, or I think it's engine room, control room or something. No, it is the uh, place where the coal goes in. So, yep. Yeah, that's what you could call that, the engine room. So that's your coal burns, and then it heats your water, and that's what makes it go. It's the principles of a steam engine. So I'm going to look here. There's eminence here. Taking a look here. It's pretty amazing. It's one of those things I'm going to take a look at the front now and see what the front looks like as well. Yeah. So. So here's your track here. Yep. And then there's your steam engine. And here's the other side of it. It's kind of amazing. It's got its own little shed almost that it's in. Yep. So you can see here, this is where the train couples or the steam engine would couple with something else. So, yep, that's what it is. His eminence is taking a look here, trying to see what this is like. There's all these little brick pavers here. There's even all, all kinds of little park benches here. Looks like it's good for a big gathering here. So let's see here. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the back of the caboose here. This is the back of the caboose. So his eminence is taking a look here, trying to see what this is like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably locked, of course. Yeah. If it was unlocked, that would be a probably an accident. But yeah, there's some pretty amazing stuff here. 
Looks like there's even a way to get up into the caboose here and take a look. Can you see in there, your eminence? Yes. Oh yeah, let me take a look here. Yeah, it looks like they got a little, a little place for water there and they got a little thermos in there. It's hard to tell, uh, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see it there, yeah. And then they they got paintings in there and looks like maybe sleeping quarters or something. I don't know, but yep, that's what it's like. So let me see here on this. Now I was told that the uh, Sterling Rock Falls Historical Society is in that garage back here but I don't know where the front door of it is so yeah I'll tell you what if this was not a if this was not a public place or not really public but if this was not a museum I would not be I would not be self-exploring somebody else's yard so just let everybody know so when it's a place that uh, people can freely go to and they got hours and stuff like that uh, you know and the gates open and it's during their time of operation then I'll tell you what don't mind stopping in. So, so I was told, I was told this is the, the historical society, but I don't know, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see here. We'll go up to the door that says open on it. And we'll kind of see what this is like. Some of this, you know, you never quite know, like where the, uh, you never quite know like where, where to start sometimes. So, well, it's, it's nice to be able to come to a place like this and, you know, and kind of see what things are like. In honor of 37 years of dedicated service at the Dillon Home Museum, Linda Beck Beckler. There's a little tree planted there. Yep, so. It's hard to imagine somebody working here 37 years, but you know what? things do happen so this is I think where we're supposed to go in maybe I know we don't go in there you know that? I think that's it oh, there's a doorbell there too so uh, it says tours on the hour yeah yeah just once I think we're on the bottom of the hour, so might have to wait around a little bit here to kind of get a tour. But yeah, yeah, tours on 